Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to note, I think Senator Sanders uh, made a very good point uh, in the beginning of his remarks about subsidies uh, that the Chinese are putting in place, and we ought to fully investigate what's happening there. Uh, so, so thank you, Senator Sanders. Um, thank you to the panel for your willingness to serve uh, the country when confirmed. Uh, Dr. Danielson, let me start with you, if I might. Um, as I think you know, several members of the House have sent a letter uh, recently questioning the value of the EERE programs. I don't agree with that assessment, and I'd point to the American Energy Innovation Council report that was released just this week by a number of eminent business leaders, including Bill Gates and Norm Augustine, about the critical role that our government needs to play in clean energy technology development. But I'd like you to respond uh, to that letter and to the debate we're having. Is there national value to EERE? What has the office contributed to the nation in the past, and what will it do under your leadership if, if you are confirmed? Well, thank you for your question, Senator Udall. I'd say, uh, first and foremost, EERE is, is really there to focus on developing, you know, working with universities, national labs, and private sector to develop a suite of technologies that are, you know, over, over, that ultimately will compete in the market, in the energy market. Uh, but that's going to require innovation, and that's uh, a real focus at EERE. Um, can I ask you to clarify your question a little further? <laughs> Talk to me about, uh, and the committee, and, and in effect the, the Congress and the country, about opportunities that you see for EERE to build on uh, its past leadership and its past successes moving forward. And you've, you've already touched on some of that this morning, but I want to give you an opportunity to, f to fully uh, Right. Thank you. Share, Thank you very much. Your, Thank you for the vision. clarification. Yeah. <laughs> um, your uh, NREL, National Renewable Energy Lab, in, in your own uh, home state uh, was played a critical role uh, in the success of one of uh, a great American company in the clean energy area named First Solar, which has uh, developed a, a disruptive technology, uh, thin film technology called cad cadmium telluride. Uh, and that's a, uh, the most valuable solar company in the world, an $8 billion market capitalization. Um, NREL and EERE and NREL together uh, played a critical role at the early stages of helping them get their technology up and running and then played a critical role in helping them understand issues around materials availability, and uh, in addition to potential toxicity issues of, of their product, and reports from NREL, funded by ERE, actually went into their early uh, sales meetings, as I've, I learned uh, recently this week. Mm -hmm. So uh, First Solar is one great success. I'd say the batteries program at ERE has, has had a, a, a significant impact. The R&D done there has had a significant impact in lowering battery costs uh, over the last, uh, I think it's three years. Uh, from 2009 to, to current year, uh, battery costs have gone down from $1,000 per kilowatt hour to 650. Mm -hmm. And uh, by 2015, if our R&D investments pan out, we think we can get down to $300 per kilowatt hour. And that's the point at which a, a plug-in hybrid vehicle actually becomes cost competitive. And so those are a few of the areas uh, where we've already made impact. Uh, going forward, uh, offshore wind is a big area, uh, marine hydrokinetic, uh, geothermal, and a number of other areas are areas where we think that uh, through significant R&D investments, the United States can become a, a world leader. In, in that context, do you think China is investing in all these technologies just so they can brag about being green and feel good about uh, being able to say they're green? Or do you think there's a, a bigger strategy uh, that they have uh, when it comes to their economic development and their and the potential for profit. Well, uh, thank you for this question. The, uh, the Chinese have rapidly growing energy demand, and uh, they're using pretty much every technology you can think of to try to meet that demand. Uh, China and India are going to be very rapidly growing uh, energy markets, and uh, they could be great opportunities for American companies to be able to uh, make and export products in the advanced energy products. So I, what I hear you saying implicitly is that China is pursuing this policy because the job creation potential, as well as the environmental benefits, as well as their national security concerns, and now I'll editorialize, those are the very same reasons that uh, I believe we need to be investing fully in these areas. 
understanding that we need an all of the above strategy. Uh, there's no one a silver bullet here. Uh, there's silver buckshot, uh, in my opinion. We need, we need to be pursuing all of these um, technologies. Um, talk a little bit about, um, my time expires, your uh, vision for providing uh, leadership and oversight and stewardship of the National Renewable Energy Lab, which is based in Colorado. I will confess I have a particular interest. Well, thank you for your question about NREL. Uh, the National Renewable Energy Lab is EERE's national lab. It's a, it's a jewel in, in the national lab system. Uh, tremendous talent there, as I said before, have, has had a huge impact in the past. Uh, my vision is to work very closely with uh, the NREL's director, Dan Arvizu, uh, and, and with, with this committee to, to, to create a, a joint vision for NREL and EERE together, where we're sitting in the room together deciding how we can use our resources to best effect and then executing on that vision together. Excellent. I'm excited to hear that uh, vision. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Ms. Harris, uh, your story is inspiring. We look forward to working with you. And Mr. Woods, you and I have shared the same uh, alma mater, although I don't think I could have been admitted at the time you did because the standards were raised significantly. So <laughs> congr congratulations and look, look forward to working with you as well. Thank you.